Ever wonder where's the hottest place? What's popular? A good place to go and meet new people? And where to go to get your social fix? Well, if there's anything that your smartphone's good at, it's letting you know what's trending. But to give it that extra boost, and to keep you on top of your social game, why not give a proudly South African app, Trender, a go? Trender is a photo location based social app that ranks popular venues as a trend. It allows both locals and out-of-towners to view the most popular venues displayed in an interactive list. Trender lets partygoers browse trends by category, including nightlife, bars and restaurants, or just check where friends are meeting. Trender was the brainchild of co-founders Kelvin Tablage and Dean Hitcher, who, after paying a cover charge to get into a nightclub, realized that there was no one inside and that the party was somewhere else. We thought that it would be a good idea to have a consolidated view of what was going on around us and, and what upcoming events were happening because typically all of that is fragmented across a lot of social media platforms um, as well as your offline media and I think all your friend groups are also fragmented so you don't at any point in time know exactly what where the best place to, to be is or, or what the best thing coming up is. It highlights all the spots that are trending, whether it be the latest bar or club, or even an impromptu band playing in a park or a mass run. The list of social aggregations are endless, and through the photo sharing in the app, you get to discover what the atmosphere is like, with current photos uploaded by people already there or on their way there. So I guess this app's very specific in terms of what it's trying to do. It wants to let you know about things that your friends are doing in, in your area. Um, you can pick some of this up from a check-in uh, on Facebook or on Foursquare or similar, but there's less of the sort of incentive to come along and join it. Right? Foursquare and Facebook, it's more like a case of, look at me, this is where I am. Trender seems to be wanting to say, this is where I am, come and join me. Users can browse a list of venues ranked in order of popularity, based on real-time check-ins. Trender ranks trends based on people checked in and also ranks users based on photos taken and activity on the app. With content constantly being refreshed with real-time information, it might take some time scrolling down to get a full picture of what the evolution of the party looks like. There's even directions to your designated destination to ensure that you won't get lost along the way. It's currently text input free and as much as I've used it, it's relatively easy to use. But then again, I'm not into trends. However, for the social set, I think it's going to be really useful. Using advanced technology known as intelligent geofencing, the same tech that allows your personal assistant like Siri to figure out where you are and to remind you not to forget that gift in the house before you leave, the app tracks your movements, reporting that you're on your way to a specific location and then actually acknowledges that you've arrived at your destination. This tells your friends who you've given permission to track you using your travels and photos, where you are and where the trend might be amassing. Interestingly enough, Trenders makers claim that the app is free from advertising. We don't have advertising in a sense that other applications can advertise on our application, but we will have a, 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 an opportunity for your brick and mortar uh, businesses to actually sponsor listings on the application. But with all the openness of your travel and social plans, surely this might constitute some sort of a, a breach of your safety and privacy. I think one of the strong points of Trender is firstly that it's incredibly local, uh, and secondly that, as with all social media today, there's a lot of security settings built in to make sure that you're only sharing your info with people that you want to share it with. And that's terribly important, you know. You don't want to be letting uh, strangers know, for example, that you're going to be out tonight and this is where I live. Um, and that's a standard concern across all social media, so they've certainly got that covered. I haven't seen huge usage on it, and I think that's going to be the biggest obstacle for Trender to overcome. How do we get people to sign up and to actually use the service? Because it only has value with large numbers of users. Trender is available on both Apple and Android. So now there's nothing to do Friday night plans are officially out the window because you yeah, have got a party to get to. If only I could choose which party would make me a trendsetter or a sheeple. Trendsetter or a sheeple.